Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 19th of 2023. Well, it is titled a sunrise at sunset point. So what do we see here? Well, this is actually a set of images taken on October 14th, looking at the sunrise and off in the distance on the horizon, we see the sun just rising. However, we see other images of the sun also moving upward from that. Now that's actually because there are multiple images here and with the original sunrise image, a little while later, the sun began to be eclipsed. And that's because October 14th was the date of the annular eclipse that was visible in parts of North and South America. So here we see that and as the sun rose, the moon was passing close to it. And you can see as you look at those images working from the lower one up up toward the middle that more and more of the sun is being blocked out. Now with the first view it's really hard to tell because only a small amount of it is being blocked and you'd have to really look carefully to see that little bit being taken out of the solar surface there. However, as you get closer in, you can see that the sun then appears as a crescent and in fact a very thin crescent at the middle when the eclipse was at maximum. And then as the moon continued to move out, then you would see the sun being a crescent on the other side until finally it was back to just being the full sun again. So eclipses like this do occur of some kind at least every year. We can have some kind of solar eclipse. It may be an annular eclipse such as this one, which occurs when the sun and the moon is further away from Earth and doesn't quite fully block out the sun. So even if you're at the place of maximum eclipse, you won't see the entire sun blocked out. You can also get a total solar eclipse as we will in uh, April of this coming year across much of uh, uh, much of the eastern portions of the United States and parts of Mexico. We'll get to see a total solar eclipse and you can have a partial solar eclipse which is much more common and is visible over a much wider range. In order to see a total or an annular eclipse you have to be in exactly the right point. So you have to be on the path of totality as that sweeps across the world. If you're a little off that area then you will see a partial eclipse and the more distant you are from that path the less of an eclipse you will see. So the less of the sun that we would see eclipsed. So for example, for this eclipse, if you were on the eastern part of the United States, while it was mostly visible in the west, you could have seen an eclipse, but it would have only been about 20 or 30% blocked out some of the very earlier images here, just a small bite being taken out of the sun. The closer you get to the eclipse path, the more of the sun that will be blocked out by the moon during that eclipse. So that was our picture of the day for October 19th of 2023. It was titled a sunrise at sunset point. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a comet and a galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.